Doctor, I've got a very special guest with me. As you can see, Niall Horan's here. Niall, thank Hello. you very much for joining nice me. Nice to see you. Are you going to stay up right this time? Uh, yeah, last time I've seen you, I stacked it, so I, there's, there is a ledge there that I'm a little <laughs> bit worried about. a big ledge here. Might have to hold on to you for yeah, a second. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, so it's your second time here. Indeed. What's so special about Augusta? Why do you love it so much? Everything about it. Uh, there's, there's just a, an aura about it that you don't get anywhere else, any other venue, in, in any other sport, really. Uh, it's very green. It's very green, you It literally right. feels like someone's going around with a scissors and cut every blade <laughs> of grass, um, which is uh, it's, it's absolutely impeccable. And actually, last week we got the chance to play it, which was um, pretty special. What was it like? I mean, were you nervous? Uh, I stacked my... This is the first here. Yeah. Uh, absolutely threw my... Hooked my ball into the left there on the trees. Wasn't great, but apart from that, it was good. Was it? Yeah. Good. Who did you play with? Did you play with any of the golfers? Played with two of my mates and one of the members here. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. And what is your handicap? Play off of 12. Right. Looking That's to very get good. that. Now that I'm, uh, I have a bit of time off, looking to get that into single figures. Yeah, fantastic. Do any of the other One Direction guys play? Do you yeah, play Harry together? Plays. Yeah, Harry plays. What yeah. does he play off? About the same as me, actually, yeah. Uh, but he, I don't think he plays as much as he used to. Mm. Yeah, so I'm, I think I'm just I'm weirdly into golf. So. Why are you so into golf? I don't know. Just um, <laughs> it's very relaxing. I found that like that was my way of uh, like getting away from the hotel and stuff when I was on tour, mm. and, and that was my thing to do during the day. And got really into it, watching a lot of golf. Uh, you can watch golf for 24 hours a day yeah. now, so it's great. Yeah, and you want to get into golf where you are, <coughs> business-wise as well. Tell yeah, us yeah. what you're doing because you've got a charity event, obviously in May. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so myself and um, my management company, the One Direction Man mm. Management Company, Modest, we set up a golf management company to kind of look after young talent coming up and uh, yeah it was just something that we felt really passionate about and thought that you know, I could try and do my bit to help mm. out and as you said yeah myself and Justin Rose are doing um, uh, doing a charity event in, in yep. the Grove and uh, we're looking forward to uh, to doing that that's for cancer research yeah. for uh, kids and teens so it should yeah, be, fun. be fantastic yeah. and you mentioned youth and young golfers there yeah. what about getting more people into golf because yeah. I mean you can tap into that market pretty easily, can't you? Yeah, I did. Uh, I got involved here with, at Augusta with uh, a thing called Drive Chip and Put, um, yeah, which was good. on last week. Yeah, as you've probably seen the videos. Um, and uh, yeah, it was just really good. There's the talent, the, the display of talent of this over here was just mm. absolutely unbelievable. And uh, yeah, it's just it was good to be good to be involved in something like that. And yeah, more people should be playing it. It's a really it's a really cool sport now. Now we know you're a big UFC fan, and firstly, I've got to get your take on that win by Misha Tate. Well, I, I kind of said it to the, I'm with a few of my mates, I said it to them beforehand. Misha's a, one, she's a warrior, she likes to, she likes to scrap, she likes a long fight and, uh, you know, she was absolutely unbelievable out there and, you know, fair play to Holly, Holly, you know, she could have been easily choked out in the second round there and she came back from it and it was, uh, it was an unbelievable, unbelievable fight and, uh, I'm happy to be here tonight. This card. Par three. Where were you? I, we missed you yesterday. Yeah. Well, I made every TV moment <laughs> last year. Outside. <laughs> you were like, I'm not going anywhere near. Put a the ball. Par three again. Yeah, just stay away from Kirsty. <laughs> Literally <laughs> within four minutes. I. Do you want to have a look again? Yeah. Here you go. To, yeah. Here we Thank go. You. There's Rory. Here I am. Stacked. Gone. See ya. <laughs> but it was because you were trying to put your bag down. No. What? No. It was the. Was it? It was. We were walking up. Uphill sideways, yeah. and um, the pine needles. It is so slippy. It's very slippy. A couple of children uh, fell over yesterday. But the internet doesn't care about how slippy it is. That's um, that's the cruelty that, that's involved in it. But uh, oh, here we go again. again. Jesus. <laughs> Sky Sports News. Look is, at Rory's is becoming... face, though. Rory's face was brilliant because the... he looked at me as if to say, "Oh no." No, Rory looked. How embarrassing. Rory said to me afterwards, "He goes, don't worry, that's pre-recorded. Um, we'll get that taken out. No that's problem so at all." That's so funny. Thought. Five minutes later, I had like a hundred texts on my phone, just like, "What are you at?" I still get tweets about it yeah. a year on from your fans and, and people are, you know, going, did you trip him up? What have you done to Niall? I'm like, no. But he listen, is it. that why you didn't want to play yesterday? Because <laughs> no, you were too scared. I didn't want to be involved in it at all. And within five minutes, I'd put a ball into the water and fallen in front of you. So uh, <laughs> I just thought maybe I shouldn't just do that again. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Now, what was it like? Because you were so nervous. Yeah. What's, the, what's the difference? Because, you, you know, going on stage must be pretty nerve wracking. Yeah. Was it really more nerve-wracking playing yeah. at Augusta last year in front of people? And yeah, obviously, when, when it's your own field, mm. uh, you know, you, you, I'm, I could perform in front of thousands and not feel uncomfortable, you know, more excited. But when you're doing something that... Out you're in not, Cumbersome. Yeah, like, played in the Pro-Am at Rory at Wentworth last year and nearly killed a few people with <laughs> balls. And uh, just pure nerves. It's just, uh, yeah, it's quite nerve-wracking, mm. especially when, you know, people don't 
you know, they're not particularly my demographic, are they? Yeah, yeah. No, it's... <laughs> I've fallen over on stage a few times before and no one's really cared, so when you do it in the world... In we cared the world, here at like, Augusta. Yeah, of course you did. Justin, it's Niall. Are you with Timberlake? So I'm going to go and meet some of the kids who are practicing for the drive, chip and putt, and I'll meet you in five minutes outside the front door of the clubhouse. Who's this kid? Taxi! Hey, hey! All right. Oh, I'll lock the door, man. <laughs> Hey, JR, you doing all right? Ah, JT, what's up, buddy? How's it going? Cool. But yeah, this is the drive. Never gets old, like we were saying. I mean, you know, I've played ten Masters now, but ten. Yeah, well, I think I'm, this might be my ten. So this is gonna be your ten. Yeah. Getting oh wow. That's cool. That's cool. My favorite hole in golf is thirteen here. Mm -hmm. I'm part of three days in a row. I actually eagle thirteen eagle from 13. the fairway. I started playing when I was, I joined the local, my local club for like 50 bucks when I was like 12. That's why this, this thing is so exciting. Imagine being down here today. You're 12 years old, you're this like, isn't what, paying 50 10. bucks to play at your local exactly. club. Like, you're at the greatest place on earth. And then this guy rocks up, who you watch on TV every week, if yeah. you're like watching golf religiously. On Golf Channel. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you gotta do like, on Golf Channel. On oh, Golf Channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. But, uh, you know, you guys are bringing sexy back with golf. Uh, oh, Rosie! Oh, he did it, Rosie! Come on! Let's talk about Rory, who you're very good friends with. Obviously, Indeed. he's out last. He's out in about 40 minutes' time. Yeah. Um, he'll be coming right up here. You're going to walk around today, aren't you? Yeah. With him. Have yeah. you spoken to him today? No, I was talking to him yesterday. He's uh, feeling good. He's feeling comfortable and he's... Feel, it looks, sounds relaxed. Mm. More relaxed than I've seen him in a while. We're just out there with, with Justin Rose as well, who's playing well. I think he's one under currently. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's looking good for, for our boys. Yeah, and of course for Rory, he's desperate for that career Grand yeah. Slam. I mean, it must be in the back of his mind all the time, but we've got sure four majors on Sky Sports mm -hmm. this year and the Ryder Cup. He'll take one of those, won't he? Hopefully. It'd be good if he got this one. Um, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. If then, he'd have, then he'd have it done. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it's obviously a busy summer. Mm. I think all, are all the majors within like six weeks? I think they're all like within six or seven weeks because they're kind Olympics, of yeah, yeah yeah. So it's a busy, busy. It's going to be a busy summer. So whoever holds up the best is going to do well. Yeah. Do you like the Ryder Cup? Will you will you be going out there? Hopefully that'd be good to get to. Uh, Darren Clark said uh, we could come, so hopefully we can get out to it. It'll be, be good. good yeah. yeah. And just quickly, any other sort of tips? I mean, Rory, you've got to say Justin, you're good friends with yep. as well. It'd be nice to see him go well, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. It'd be great to see Rosie do it. He deserves it. You know, he puts uh, a lot of hard work in, like like they all do. Mm. Uh, but it's obviously, when you're a friend with someone, you always want to see them. See him do well, and like if on, the, on the second there, he kind of duffed the ball, and we were like, you, oh, you kind of yeah. like feel for him as well. So it's it's kind of hard to watch, but it's good, really good fun. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Listen, um, I'm going to let you go. We, you've got to go and get ready. Thank you so much. See you later. Don't fall over. Oh, <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay, back to the studio. <laughs> the venues that you guys <laughs> pack out still. Um, you doing Coachella? I haven't yet. I've gone I many times. <laughs> I haven't been yet. And I don't exactly remember I what remember. happened there. <laughs> I've seen you dancing in like some sort of Hawaiian video with a, ba with a band. I've seen it in. Oh man, you know, like, what is he this? He had like the flowers oh. around his neck. He's oh doing all goodness. this like weird dance. Hoping break. that B roll never shows up anyway. <laughs> oh man. Proper like dad dancing, like I've got two kids. That's, that's what it's like. <laughs> Was I like, clicking my finger? Yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> I like the neck too, you get the neck gone. Yeah, yeah that's great. Oh man. This is where oh. the prep is happening for the kids. This is where it's at. How you doing, bud? I've watched all your videos. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes, you're watching. You know, we were talking in the car on the way over here about uh, how cool it is that Augusta National and around the Masters are taking this initiative to really bring young people into the game. But to sort of like really feel it, to meet the kids, I think there's so much good energy here. I love Augusta. I'm going to remember it for the rest of my life.